you, well, you can bet plenty of people will be betting on tonight's game, but the sports books are taking a beating. For example, in Monday night's game, Colin Miller was 60 to 1 to score the first goal, which he did, possibly making someone a lot of money. And that last second empty net goal made the Knights cover the spread with just two seconds left. That cost sports books tens of thousands of dollars. One veteran of the sports books says this has been a tough year for the house. Well, we, we opened the nights uh, at 250 to one early, and we took over 500 bets at, at, at real high numbers. Um, so, so, so there's a, there's some significant uh, play involved, and there was some uh, some bookmaking uh, liability management going on late in the season to try to minim minimize some of that exposure. But that's again, that's what we do. That's what we're good at. That's what we do, and uh, we live and die with our results. Mantera says it's hard to bet against them right now. The Knights are pretty big favorites to win tonight and to win the series. Of course, that's a long way from the 500 to 1 long shots they were this time last year. Stick with 8 News Now all morning, all day, and all night for Golden Knights coverage. We'll be live starting at 4 o'clock outside T-Mobile Arena. We'll also be on the air with highlights after the game finishes. There will also be a live post-game special streaming on our 8 News Now Facebook page. And that goes from 11.35 until midnight.